Greetings, YouTube. I'm sure everyone has heard of the Gordian Knot, an intractable problem that is supposed to have been solved by a swift and decisive, out-of-the-box solution. The literal legend is that Alexander the Great was presented with a, an actual physical knot, a knot of rope that was so complex no one had ever solved it. And the idea it being, if you solved it, you got a prize. Well, Alexander the Great, or just at the time, just Alexander um, of Macedon, wanted to have the prize, and he's looking at the knot, and while he was a genius in many ways, he wasn't a genius in this particular way. So his solution was to draw his sword and cut it in half. And this has always been used by people since the time of this legend's creation, to show that sometimes you really have to think outside the box. You literally have to just cut through the bull and 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 get to the problem, and then you're done. That there is a simple, elegant solution to you know, any complex problem. And I am reminded of the metaphor that I have always loved, is that there is a simple solution to every complex problem, and it is wrong. Because complex problems need complex solutions. And I've always hated the Gordian knot metaphor. Because Alexander didn't solve that problem. Alexander destroyed that problem. The other day I turned my computer on and I got a weird error message. I even took a picture of it so I have it in case it happened again. Um, startup screen. I didn't even get any further into my computer and it gave me some weird thing telling me about how there was a memory issue and some piece of software, of course it doesn't tell you what, isn't working. If I were to apply the Alexander the Great method there, I would then have picked up this and beaten my, my computer to death because the computer dared to present me with a problem that was that is for me intractable because I get no idea what it meant. It's a long, bunch of long codes, you know, so um, this, this code in this data section, no, it made no sense to me. That's not a solution. I didn't find a solution. This is a Windows thing. I shut it down, I turned it back on, it didn't show up again. I got no idea what happened. I probably never will. But if I had broken my computer, that also wouldn't have been a solution. Just like Alexander cutting that knot in half wasn't a solution. He didn't solve it. He just broke it. And that has always bothered me because it, it is used by brutes to show that sometimes you just have to break a problem. It's why we are in America are convinced, or not just America, but America in particular, I think, is convinced the army can solve problems. The army's best, best uh, skill is breaking things. You don't send the army in unless you want something broken. Yes, they can do other things. They're also really good at breaking stuff. That's their primary job, breaking things. A lot of the time, you don't need to break things. It's like in the United States when it comes to policing. We send cops in to do things you don't need cops to do. A lot of the jobs that we give to cops are things that can be done by other people because you don't need the guy with the gun. Because the guy with the gun is like Alexander with the sword. He's got a limited pool of, of skills and he's willing to use them whether they're appropriate or not except in that case people die it isn't just a ball of hemp being cut in half so I've always disliked the Gordian knot metaphor it isn't a solution if you present someone with a complex problem there should be an elegant solution but it should be an actual solution. I'm, I know that there was a... Fermi's last theorem was a, a mathematical concept, and I don't remember what the actual formula is. I apologize. I'm not a mathematician. I'm a fan of math. Let's put it that way. I find math fascinating, even though I can't do any of it. Um, but the idea was that there was an elegant solution to Fermi's last theorem, and we never found an elegant solution. Someone found a solution... But it wasn't delicate. It was large. It was a large solution. But it should prove to be robust and working. It was a functional solution. It did what it was supposed to do. 
but it wasn't small and sexy and elegant. Sometimes there are small, sexy, elegant mathematical solutions, and they're lauded as being wonderful things, and I can understand that. When you find a really sleek, sexy solution to something, it's awesome. When you're able to sometimes stand back and realize, you know, I don't need to do all that over here. I just do this simple thing right there to problem solve. That is a beautiful thing. I encounter it all the time when I'm building stuff in my shop. Sadly, I often encounter it after I've actually done the stupid thing. But it's nice when I discover it, even if I haven't implemented it properly. So it's wonderful when you find that solution. But just beating something with the club or cutting it in half with the sword, that's not a solution. And I hate that metaphor. And I wish we'd throw it away. Because we'd be better off without it in my book. If you have a complex problem, there's going to be a complex solution. Accept that. And if somebody finds an elegant solution to your complex problems, give them a goddamn prize. Awesome. Be happy. But don't expect it. Expect if you have an intractable problem, there's going to be a long, drawn-out, very complex solution that may not get the job done initially, but it gets you a little bit closer Sometimes a little bit closer to a solution is all we can get. If something means a few more, there'll be just a handful of fewer deaths per year, yeah, do that thing. And maybe the next year we'll come up with something better that, that pushes that number down even further. You're not unlikely to find a solution right away that solves all your problems. But if you keep moving towards a solution, you're better off whether it's your personal life or societal problems. Move towards a solution. Accept that it's going to be slow. It's there are many steps along the way. And just work at it. Don't expect for Alexander the Great to walk in with a sword and solve the problem. Because in the real world, he's not just going to be cutting a knot in half. 